Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's your rootinest, tootinest host. I don't make country music, but they still go yee-haw. <laughs> um, I'm not what he said. I'm just your normal weather host, Chris. Weather with Badger Baltermain. As we get the teleprompter ready, there you go. Thanks, Lathan. Your high for today is going to be 40 degrees with a low of 25. But when you came in today, it felt like 26 degrees. But also, later on tonight, there's going to be no chance of rain at all. That's all for weather. Now back over to the studio. For lunch today, in lines one and two, we have cheeseburger. Line three is hot dogs. Line four is ravioli and personal pan pizza. And as always, line five is closed. But don't forget, your second period teacher determines your lunch, not your third. Happy birthday goes out to Nissa Alanis Aguilar and Alex Perez. Now listen to to the two-time back-to-back champ, Dr. Mo Respect. Thanks, Lathan. Last night, the boys' basketball team went on the road and beat Clinton Central 61-44. to The dogs shot the ball extremely well, seeing as the team was 11-24 of from beyond the arc, perfect from the free throw line, and 13-19 inside the arc. More impressive was the way the team moved the ball, creating great opportunities for one another. The team put together a solid defensive game, holding the Bulldogs below 10 points in two of the four quarters. Jade Ayers had 12 points, being perfect on the floor, which will become more impressive in a moment, going 5 for 5. A couple of plays were notable. One for a personal achievement, and one for the absurdity of it. Firstly, Riley Grasham made his first three-pointer in varsity competition. Congrats, my lad. Secondly, Jade Ayers decided to yeet the ball before the first half's conclusion. Surprisingly, it went in. Hats off to you, Jade. The team returns to action on Friday night in their final game of the regular season and senior night against Logan Sport. Back to your hosts. Well guys, there isn't much to report on this morning, but as always, don't forget your cap and gowns. You need to give Mrs. Rennick a $10 deposit along with your height and weight. Deca cookies are a dollar at the Deca cart. If you don't know where that is, may Allah guide you. The Clinton County Junior Fair Council is having a call out. They're seeking hardworking, responsible individuals to join the Clinton County Junior Fair and the 4-H Fair and other community events. Applications can be picked up at Student Services, but they're due tomorrow. You can purchase a yearbook in the bookstore for $35 so you can look at it now and talk about all the people you like and dislike with your friends just so you can forget for the next 10 years to find it in your parents' house when you come home for Christmas and they told you they found it during a deep spring cleaning. Good luck to all band members and orchestra students who will be competing in state solo and ensemble contest this Saturday. I've been informed that Izzy might be a bloodhound main. Either way, he's still going to be bad. 